Shalama, Shalama Luca, the real Aramaic. Yep, the real Aramaic. Today, I'm here to talk about it. My name is Abdul. I'm here to talk about to talk about from the book of uh, Genesis, from chapter from chapter one, all the way from 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 chapter four, where you start read it from from all the way from from the beginning. But I'm here to talk about the beginning. A beginning plus it means ah just like just like the uh, the Greek they used to wear in Roman Rome in Greek they used to wear Aleph as the beginning in the you know, in the English and Bible they used to wear the beginning and also um in our main and our Mac we used to wear ah And that's the book I carry up, what I read, right? All right. Genesis, Genesis, the word Genesis means the beginning. And that word Genesis is the, not supposed to be the, the words to say, okay, me, Genesis, or, or, or the other meaning. Bara Asha Shayata. In Aramaic, we say Bara Yashata. Why? The word Genesis is supposed to mean Yah. Why is it means Yah? Because Yah was talking about He created. He created the land. He created the, the people. And He created everything around us. And he, He's the only one. Yah is the only one that gives created good and evil. And he do give us a lot of, of good and evil. And he did give the angel, Lucifer, he did give the angel, <laughs> yep, Lucifer, he did give him, he did give him uh, a lot of good and evil too. And all the rest of the angel knew about it too. And Yahshua knew about it too. Um, I'm here to talk about the, um, the names because the names have a meaning. And I describe it, the names having the meaning, just like I was I was saying in the beginning, and then either. Abel means breathe. We breathe. We breathe air. We breathe everything. If we go in the water, what happens? We cannot breathe. We have to suffocate. Only the fish can breathe. Any different type of animal has certain ways they can breathe. See? Breathe. Other ways, it says breathe. You know, breathe is like, it's part of your... You're, you're living life. You breathe. We breathe air. We breathe. Abel means breathe. Adam, known as ruby red ground. If you look at the overseas, the how the dirt, how the dirt look like, you see it's like it's red, right? And it still got a brown to it. You know, it dusts up on our face. Eve. Well, let me get back to the Adam. They would like to say Adam means man, right? And Adama means blood or Adam. Other way to say blood. Uh, Adam, Adamada means ground. But if you look at it, it still remains Adam. If you look at it, if you look at how the how Yah created, Yah created human for his perfect reason. He created human for his reason. We came from the ground. If you look at how it is uh, overseas today, how the Middle East and all the grounds look over there, you'll see how red and ruby is. Because it's red and it's brown to it, and you see it. And it still exists to this day in Canaan. The one you call it AKA Africa today. Or overseas Israel. <laughs> Still this. Eve means living. Life. Spirit. 
we living. Yah made woman. He made woman. Yah made woman. Now, now, when a woman wake up, when Eve woke up, she lived. Also, live life. We have to. We do things in life. Yah made us life to, you know, to do things. Spirit is in you, inside you. Not spirit say, hey, you know what? We, we, we doing, we doing things. We go rid the spirit. Uh uh. You gotta be lead by Yah for that. Spirit is inside us. Cause we don't, we don't know what's what's hitting inside us. It's hitting. All right. And also, and also the the other way our our man say, "Awa, awa" means spirit. But the Voodoo used that word "awa" to call Deon's words the spirit too. And like wow. But it's not used for voodoo. The word Iowa is our main, our make for meaning spirit, living, life. That's what Eve is. Adama means Adam. Remember, Cain, Kayan. What they say, Kayan. Kaya, the way you say Kanya means king, means spear, coming, jealousy, process, acquire, known as behavior. Cain is known as meaning behavior. Yahshua, known as meaning as movement, life, and also our teacher. Salvation means laws. It's still Yahshua is known as salvation. Now Cain, get back to Cain. Cain, you see Cain's spear coming in jealousy with his behavior, his behavior that he had. That's why he got idea to kill Abel, because you know he disliked what he thinks. That's God made violence and stuff. Everything that we do, the behavior, the behavior we do. That we should not do. That's why y'all give us a, a command, commandment, greatest commandment to to change our behaviors. We're not perfect around this world, but hey, you know what? We do act, right? We ain't perfect, so don't say we don't act like that. No, we do. So, means behavior. Everything that Yah made, He is a heaven and earth. He is the real heaven and earth. He is created. He created earth. He created the sun. He created everything. He created ground. And He also gave us a tree of life of good and evil because the roots of that tree, if you look at that tree, the roots under the ground means we've been rooted with a lot of knowledge. And also when you look at the tree with the leaves, the leaf means human. And when that leaf gone and the leaf grow back again, that means life is living, is growing, is growing back again. It means like you growing. That's why y'all use the word new, uh, new birth or rebirth. <laughs> but still growing. Y'all made it for his purpose and his reason. If you read from Genesis. And Genesis should be known as Yah. Yes, it must be known as Yah. The real word it should be known as Yah. And Lucifer known as the star. Satan known as the star. If you look at the word Saturn, you still remain back the word star. See? Yes, Lucifer is a star. He's very arrogant and he's one of the angels. Is he? 
And he is. And y'all say, yes, he is. Yah made for his reason, for his purpose. Yatabena, Aman, Yah Baraha, and Yah bless. And thank you for listening. If you have any, any type of a question, please put your comments on the bottom on the YouTube. Thank you. Shalom Aluka, Shalom. And Shalom. And Shalom.